Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019. I am Farah Bates, tonight's edition of News in Depth. Welcome and thank you for joining us. In the headlines, opposition commissioners disappointed the Chicum chair over for the two-day timeline for claims and objections. More in this report. Opposition nominated commissioners left a GCOM statutory meeting on Tuesday upset after the Chairman Justice Claudette Singh agreed to a 42 day timeline for claims and objections. The chairman signed the second order. She knew very well she was signing 42 days against the decision of the commission. That is my firm opinion. And as far as I'm concerned, this is deja vu. We have another chairman who is going against decisions of the commission without the commission's input. Did she give an explanation for that? No. She gave no explanation. What is the, um, your next step? We don't have any next step. If the chairman signed an order and she is not moving to have it corrected, what can we do? We cannot change the order. So the order stands at 42 days. Well, I, to our surprise, the chairman somehow signed an original order for 49 days. Mr. Corbyn's number, number of days. That error was supposedly corrected, but then it returned to the, in today's newspaper as 42 days, not 35 days. We had great disagreement today about this problem. It came to a vote. We said that it should not be revisited, that there was sufficient time for all claims and objections to be done. Particularly to enlighten, we heard later that claims and objections will be carried out continuously all day at the registration places. Shadik said she is very disillusioned. That we have another chairman who is taking decisions along the lines that the government commissioners are asking. Even though, even though the commission had a decision Bias. and that decision was not changed by the commission. Well, they would have rushed the print last night to get for the two days in the newspapers Anyhow, that you would have seen today and presenting us seemingly with a fate to complete. That is gone to the first. Government nominated commissioner Vincent Alexander said this change of time will not interfere with the overall framework of which the commission operates in. And the fact of the matter is that the change of the period did not fly in the face of any fundamental thing we were doing. So one may argue that, look, it wasn't approved in advance, but one has to be able to differentiate between what is fundamental and what is not fundamental. This change of time does not interfere with the overall framework within which we operate. Claims and objections started on Monday, October 1st. More news after the break. Stay with us. all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there is such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Shh! It's lights, camera, action for the elegant session ceremony to reveal the 2019 Miss Brebby's I Am A Big Deal Delegates at the main hall of the Albion Sports Complex ground on Saturday, October 12th at 6 p.m. Act to the glitz and glam. Strike a pose for the camera and a dress to impress. Admission is easy, so come out and support our Babesian beauties and enjoy a night filled with great tasting food and quality entertainment. Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have so much waste to dispose of in the landfill? Well, composting can help us reduce the waste we dispose of by turning our organic waste into compost, which can be used to improve the quality of our soil. 
composting is very simple and convenient. You can compost using organic waste such as vegetable skins. Or fallen leaves and cut grass and put this in a composting bin or pile. Compost can help your garden grow healthy plants while reducing your volume of waste. It's a really good way to keep our communities clean and healthy. So, let's all start composting our waste. Find out how easy it is. Call us on 226-2189 or 227-8429 or visit our website, moc.gov.gy. A message from the Ministry of Communities in collaboration with the Inter-American Development Bank. Are you having problems sleeping at night? Well, worry no more. Comfort Sleep mattresses are simply the best. Comfort Sleep provides quality products, factory fresh and better value. With every purchase you make, you become part of our family and help to fulfill the need of the less fortunate. Comfort Sleep, as part of their corporate duty, provides meals for over 500 children in regions 3, 4 and 6, three times a week. This, among other charitable events, year-round is part of our mandate. What are you waiting for? Keep the dream going. Be part of this great family. Comfort Sleep, Eccles Industrial Estate, East Bank, Demerara. Telephone 233-3013 or 233-2657. Email comfortsleep49 at gmail.com. Welcome back. This video went viral on social media over the weekend showing an altercation between a traffic policeman and motorcyclist. The policeman took the man's motorcycle keys and this angered the man who decided to jump onto the back of the policeman's bike. Today the young man was hauled before the Georgia Magistrates Court and was hit with several charges. The 19-year-old man, Anthony Clark, an employee of Monish Wars Limited, appeared before Magistrate Clive Nurse and pleaded guilty to the three charges read to him. The charges against him are for an unregistered motorcycle, not being the holder of a driver's license, and driving down a one-way street. He pleaded guilty to the three charges and was fined $65,000. He was then brought before another magistrate where more charges were read to him. Charges were assaulting Police Constable Joel Samuels, who was acting in the execution of his duty and disorderly behavior in public viewing. He was fined $25,000. However, the young man denied damaging the headlight of the policeman's bike valued at $24,480. He also denied using abusive language against the police officer. He was released on $20,000 bail and will return to court on October 16, 2019. <laughs> The all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there is such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Pounding excitement, cause it's time to saddle up the Cowboys for the Arima Park Rodeo at Rising Sun on Sunday, October 20 at the Rising Sun Turf Club at Rising Sun West Coast Burbies. It's all the fun and thrills you could think of. Presented by Rising Sun Turf Club, some of the bravest Cowboys. And he's gone. Yes, and he's riding. From Brazil, Venezuela, Suriname, Chile, Peru. Panama, and our own local legends from the Rupununi, Wild Stairs, Bucking Broncos, and the Swirling Lasso. Wildest, written by the bravest. Tickets, $1,500. It's the best and wildest rodeo event you've ever seen in Guyana. Music and fun for the entire family. 
Show starts at 12 noon. Sponsored by Banks DH. It's lights, camera, action. For the elegant session ceremony, here to reveal the 2019 Miss Brebbies, I am a big deal delegates at the main hall of the Albion Sports Complex ground. On Saturday, October 12th at 6 p.m. Act to the glitz and glam. Strike a pose for the camera and dress to impress. Admission is easy, so come out and support our Babesian beauties and enjoy a night filled with great tasting food and quality entertainment. Jumbo Jet Racing Committee presents the Breeders' Cup 2019, a fundraising event featuring exciting dirt bike action by some of Guyana's best on 13th October. At Bushlot United Turf Club, other events include a car and bike show and horse racing. Family activities include donkey racing, catch the greasy pig, and the slippery pole. It's fun for the entire family. Music by TRS, photographs by www.hotspotgy.com. This event is powered by the Jumbo Jet Racing Committee and Banks DIH. Please drink responsibly for 18 and Welcome back. Two of the three men on trial for the Stalk Road Church Elder's murder to be sentenced later this month. More details in this report. Imran Khan and Stephen Andrews pleaded guilty to the lesser count of manslaughter in the High Court trial of Church Elders, Conson Fraser 8 and 9, and Phyllis Caesar 77, while Philip Safram is expected to go on trial. The matter was heard today before Justice Sandel Kisun. The two devoted members of the Full Gospel Assembly Church on South Road were found bound and gagged in their South Road and Albert Street home. This was after the men broke into their home and robbed them of an undisclosed amount of cash and other items. The post-mortem examination done by government pathologist Dr. Nial Singh revealed that the women died from suffocation and manual strangulation and trauma to the head. Canon Andrews will return to court on October 24, 2019 for sentencing. With that, we come to the end of tonight's newscast. If you have a news story or tip, you can contact us on 666-4337 or 654-0523. You can also visit our website at www.rdproductiongy.com or on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Horizon Tricks Production for more details on these and other stories. Join us again tomorrow night for more news. I am Firebase. Good night.